your favorite radio station, Radio Tomorrow. Parkinson's disease is the second most common degenerative neurological condition in Australia after dementia. 32 Aussies are diagnosed every day, with 20% of them under the age of 50. Today, Monday the 11th of April, is World Parkinson's Day. It is a day for people living with Parkinson's, their families, friends, colleagues and carers to raise awareness for the disease and the toll it takes on everyday life. Joins me on the phone, a man who was not only diagnosed with Parkinson's at a young age, but rather inspired by it. Clyde Campbell, founder of Shake It Up Foundation, thank you for being with us. Uh, Thank you for the opportunity. Pleasure. Firstly, tell me about your journey with Parkinson's. Yeah, uh, my journey started six and a half years ago Mm. with being diagnosed with Parkinson's. Uh, From that uh, date, it was all about how to be able to find ways to slow, stop and cure the disease. And in 2009, the diagnosis was followed by a concept and then a foundation. Tell me more about this story. Yeah, what we found is there's researchers around Australia that were all underfunded and with what we like to ensure that they were globally competitive in their research uh, to be able to ensure we had that uh, opportunity here in Australia. And we set up with a partnership with the Michael J. Fox Foundation to bring globally leading research dollars to be matched mm-hmm. with our dollar in Australian research. And alongside MJFF, you are now the largest non-government funder of Parkinson's research in Australia, yeah. is that right? Yes, that's right. Yeah, With our support of um, donations in, within Australia, matched with the Fox dollar, it's made us uh, yeah, the, the, the largest non-government funder of uh, research. And it really gives our researchers a great opportunity to excel in what they do. And how do you rate your progress since 2009? Uh, it's been massively accelerating. We've got so many more grants uh, it's coming through in Australia and internationally we're finding things heading into phase two and three trials. That's really important for us because it's getting closer to having results that we can get into patients. Mm-hmm. So the funds are being primarily invested in finding better treatments rather than just raising awareness? Yeah, what we're doing is what, looking at three different ways. How to be able to slow, how to stop and then how to cure the disease. And there may be different pillars of research as, uh, that underpin each of them. Mm. So it, it's multi-pillared. So if one doesn't work, we, we aren't out of ideas. There's multiple, uh, multiple segments we're chasing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Clyde, uh, I noticed that a unique aspect of Shake It Up is that all overheads are covered by the founding directors or the supporters, which means that there is no leakage of, of, of funds in admin costs. Yeah, it gets even better than that, which we want to ensure that no overhead costs were paid by the people that donated. So every dollar that's donated gets through to research, but it's also matched with a Fox dollar to mm. become $2 within Australian to get into Australian research. So all their funding is funding Australian research, but it really is on a two-to-one basis. Wow, and what are, what are your current projects now? Uh, it's multiple projects. We've got 12 operational projects across Australia all focused on different areas, you know, things such as LARC2, which is a gene that's prevalent in Parkinson's, mm. uh, alpha-synuclein, which is a, a paste that's found on the back of the brain and uh, the substantia nigra with everyone with Parkinson's. And is that a, a cause of Parkinson's or is it a subsequent uh, uh, effect of Parkinson's? And what happens when we do break up that alpha-synuclein? Uh, so there's some really exciting areas that are coming forward. We're doing a lot of work with p- how to pre-diagnose Parkinson's because you don't get the symptoms until you've lose 70% of your dopamine production. If we can find it at, say, 20 or 30% and then slow it down, people won't have the effects of Parkinson's in, in, the, in the future. Uh-huh, interesting. Um, you, you established pause for Parkinson's in 2015 to coincide with the World Parkinson's Day. Now, pause for Parkinson's, what does it encourage people to do and how does it help your cause? Yeah, what we're asking people to do is do something simple to pause for Parkinson's, whether it be hold a morning tea, yeah, hold a luncheon with your friends, yeah, have a wine night, mm. uh, whatever it suits people. Stop, pause for Parkinson's, uh, raise some dollars. Uh, you can go to our website at shakeitup.org.au and it'll give you a few different ways to be able to think about how you could pause for Parkinson's, reflect on it, but also raise some research funding. Great. So shakeitup.org.au. And um, can people donate via your website? Yeah, most definitely. If they could support ourselves as we went through, it really does get you a two-to-one 
support for research right here in Australia that is making a difference. Great. So that's shakeitup.org.au. Uh, Clyde Campbell, your last question is what message do you want to leave our listeners with on this remarkable day, 11th of April, World Parkinson's Day? Yeah, what I'd like to be able to leave them with is uh, how can they assist us in different ways? On our website, it'll be able to uh, detail what they could do for pause for Parkinson's. If people can donate in another way, uh, there's also that opportunity on our website. Or how do they spread the news in regards to Shake It Up? Because we need to be able to raise the profile of Parkinson's. Clyde Campbell, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Thanks for your time. This was Clyde Campbell, founder of Shake It Up Australia Foundation. Your favourite radio station, Radio Tomorrow. Tomorrow.